Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Principle of Microeconomics Lecture 13. In the last lecture, we were discussing compensating variation, and uh, it's the remaining portion of the last lecture. Uh, here we are going to discuss equivalent variation. Actually, adjustment in income that uh, change the consumer utility equal to the level that could occurs if the event had happened that what the economically events have been changed the consumer utility has been affected and how the adjustment in income take place for adjusting the consumer utility and uh, in the case of a positive economic change as we discussed in the last uh, compensating variation and if the economic change is positive a fall in price ev would be increased in the income what will be the equivalent variation increase in the income and similarly if there is a negative economic change ev would be the income that would be lowering the consumer's utility so it depends upon it's if it is the positive it will be increase and if it is the negative then it will be fall Uh, in the com compensating variation you also discuss this uh, diagram similarly if the consumer was initially at b point and moved uh, as the x market open consumer moves towards the equilibrium a naught where and defense come with and then choose the budget line consumer is in equilibrium here and uh, when this is change in x the consumer shift from a naught to e well and this moment from B to C is actually compensating variation. And if consumer instead of moving to onwards, if consumer moves upward from B to M. And the amount of income or composite commodities is equivalent to the market for X being open. And uh, this variation will representing the equivalent variation EV. From B to M distance is presenting the equivalent variation and uh, how we can find the equivalent variation similarly if the consumer was at the point e naught initially and x market open from point b to m and this bm point bm is actually the presenting ev equivalent variation and initial difference curve to the final difference curve thus giving the consumer the same welfare gain as if the market has opened and this bm is equivalent variation this is actually bm is the equivalent variation this is uh, uh, again the diagram which is explaining when uh, uh, the price of x is going on to fall and uh, e1 a not here you see a naught is actually the equilibrium before the price fall and e1 is after price fall similarly e2 e2 is the cv adjustment while e3 is the ev adjustment here bc gap represents the compensative variation while bm gap representing the equivalent variation you can see here consumer was uh, initially at the point e naught and uh, the original budget line is tangent to the utility uh, budget line is tangent to th uh, the defense curve and presents the utility i naught and if the price of x falls and budget line rotates out and the consumer's new equilibrium is at e1 this is and uh, so here the utility will be i i1 and uh, cv is from old indifference curve that is the price ratio that is like this and uh, this is presenting uh, the situation that budget line is tangent to the indifference curve and at point a2 a2 dashed budget line is tangent to the original indifference curve and the vertical intercept of the tight budget line is at point C. This is the point C. Value shift to the new budget line is distance between the BC, which is compensating variation, while uh, 
this is actually presenting a v is that is uh, at the new difference curve e3 is at the new difference curve and this distance from the m is presenting the equivalent variation uh, its um, diagram explanation is also given here you can also uh, well understand by reading this explanation it's a simple diagram as we discussed uh, the figure one similarly it's the figure two and here the budget lines are giving into the dashed form it was all about today in the next lecture we will start the next chapter see you in the next lecture allah peace